All right, we're on top of Bigelow Mountain, Avery Peak, and uh, it uh, uh, I was kind of in a warm spot this morning. My uh, my I had set up my tent really well. I'd uh, I'd uh, insulate it with uh, with uh, leaves and put logs on the edges so air wouldn't get up into the uh, uh, into the baffles or anything. And you know, and uh, so. Then I had my tent, and I had everything just right for my tent, and I'd been cold for the last several days, and just, you know, just been draining me, and, you know, yeah, I, I'm scared of the cold. Uh, cold will take away your brain and your fingers, uh, which means that we, we end up being monkeys at that point, because, you know, stupid, no fingers. Actually, monkeys have fingers, so we're worse than monkeys. So we're dogs, uh, but can't run, and don't have fur. Okay, maybe the metaphor is just gotten mixed. Anyway. I uh, I am scared of, uh, of uh, in a couple of weeks or so when it gets uh, when I start getting uh, when it starts getting winter. I've always loved fall, but fall in Maine is just about to the end now. It's about to turn winter because anything with snow is winter for me. So anyway, I don't know if you can see the moon, but there's the old uh, fire tower for on Bigelow Mountain. And just above, about if you do a 45 degree to the right, uh, the moon is, uh, the moon would be, uh, you know, 45 degrees up. It's, uh, you know, if you can't see it, you can't see it. Um, so you look up, this is the sign that says how far different things are. We come over here, we look at, I mean, the reason why the Bigelows are so splendiferous is because, not because they're tall, but because they're so much taller than anything around them. And I'm about to uh, go toward the sunset where we're going to have uh, the West Peak, uh, which is the other Bigelow Peak. And there we go. Here's the sun. All right. But the one that you see is the one I'm going to do first thing in the morning and then go down it uh, and go into Stafford. Um, look over here. Actually, right over there is a, uh, is a ski resort. Uh, who probably really want the snow to hurry up and get here uh, so they can start making money. Um, uh, and actually, as I've been doing it, on the other side of uh, the watchtower would be Little Bigelow, uh, which, is the, uh, which would be the peak that uh, I climbed uh, yesterday. So uh, anyway, I'm hoping that this all comes out because I'm using my uh, headset. So I'm hoping that the sound all shows up and so I'm going to replay this and see, see what happens. I'm hoping that the sound quality will be better because of that as well. Uh, hopefully it won't uh, be as affected by the wind blowing here on the peaks. Because if that's a problem, then that's still a problem. Um, I'm starting to... I was wearing gloves for the last bit because it's, you know, it's getting to the evening and it's also uh, chilly. So I think I'll be going in that direction. Um, so... Anyhow, uh, this is September. Uh, this is October second, um, and uh, this is the first of the uh, Southern Maine uh, peaks to uh, to do. Um, I'm hoping that in a in a couple of weeks I'll be done with uh, Southern Maine and be past Mahusik Notch, and all I have to do then is the Whites, and I may end up just uh, you know hovering at the edge of the Whites for. A break in the weather so I can just go up and over and uh, and do them uh, with heavy packs or maybe I can maybe I'll break down and actually do uh, you know have someone uh, give me some well I don't know I don't know what the what, what's feasible over there all right well it's October 2nd bye